Howdy, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher once again, and today's video is about winding or making a torsion spring. Now I'm making this spring specifically for uh, Jeremy Schmidt's uh, sander that I'm going to build, but I struggled with this. I tried to use the method that he used uh, with, I didn't have the strength to wind it to be honest with you, so I attempted several, I wasted a whole day, yeah, whole day. <laughs> I wound some successfully on the closing lathe around a mandrel, but those were just quarter inch round soft steel, and then I failed when I tried the uh, springy steel, which is really tough stuff to work with. So now I've made a bender very similar to what we used at school, not for winding springs so much as for making other bends that I had uh, incorporated into student projects. So uh, let me show you how I made this thing real quickly and then I'm going to do a dry run with quarter inch soft waste steel and then we'll actually wind a uh, 730 seconds music wire piano wire spring and I bought four pieces of that over eBay that's 730 seconds diameter about three foot long fairly expensive you have to buy a four pack let's get started Okay, here's the material that I'm using. Music wire, 730 seconds by 36 inch. Now you can make this little bender just about out of any material, so I'm just using what I had handy. This is 3 8 by 2 inch hot rolled. This is 7 8 diameter hot rolled, and that could be welded on, but I chose to drill a hole all the way through and bolt it on. This is a 3 8 cap screw, and I've located that quarter inch away. This is quarter inch soft that I got in my hand right now. That's what I'll be using first. And that's really all there is to this. It's that simple. And this is the handle and it's way too long. It's three and a half feet long, but I didn't want to cut it off and, and waste it because when I'm done here, I'll just cut this off, throw it away, and I still got a, a good bar of seal. But it's so long, you can see I got tremendous leverage and control over the project. This kit, spring wire can be kind of dangerous if not handled right. That's a 7 8 hole, and these are 3 8 holes. That's a cap screw again and I did make a little groove in it there I don't know if there's any need that's a uh, lock nut but this the idea here was I didn't know which hole I would be using so I drilled three holes I needed some extra manpower here because I don't have the strength to wind this so I got my little helper here mm. <laughs> he's a little camera shy come on mm. you gonna help me no. And you always have to allow for a little spring back, not so much in the mild steel as you will with the piano wire. But see how nice that worked? And boy, that got hot, at least warm. That was kind of fun. But you can see that real long handle that I had. Actually, it darn near hit the tripod. It was kind of a nuisance, but I guess I'm just going to suffer with it. And I need to make two of them, one for myself, one for the brothers, out of the spring steel. So let's do that now. I did grease this up a little bit.
One, two, three, four, five. One more. And I can put it on and give it just a little bit more if I need to. Now there are some other bends that need to be made according to Jeremy, but I'm going to wait until final installation. And there are six coils there and you can see that it used the better part. Okay, remember a torsion spring is kind of like what they use on a mousetrap. This is the quarter inch soft, that's scrap. That's made of music wire and it needs to be cut off. Remember that you need to grind this off with a cutoff grinder. You cannot saw it, it is harder than the devil. And be careful with this because of the springiness. And if you try to make too sharp a bend, for instance, just put it in the vise and make a 90 degree bend, it will break and sometimes can shatter and that is scary so be careful with this. I guess I forgot to tell you but there is a little bit of an angle right here to the coils as you wind them so you have to compensate for that by lifting the the lever handle a little bit to aim it. I call that the helix angle which is what they call it on a thread. I may be incorrect in the terminology but consider that. Don't make your handle so long. You can see how I fought with that. It's about three and a half foot. You probably could settle for 24 or 30 inches. But the beauty with mine is that I was totally under control at all times with it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you ever need to make a torsion spring for this project or possibly some other project, if it's smaller wire, you can just do it by hand. But when you get into this heavier stuff, you're going to find that it's pretty tough going. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. And I'll